from rescue mutts to purebred hounds and designer dogs, at-home dog DNA tests claim to bring you answers about your four-legged friend's genetic makeup. CBS Austin's Melanie Torrey digs into just how accurate those tests really are. He really likes playtime. Meet four-year-old Stoney. At least his owner, Becca Rushworth, thinks he's four. It's obviously not a camera dog. He could be five. Like his age, really? his breed has remained a mystery since she adopted him in 2014. The shelter guessed he was a German Shepherd Corgi mix. I think he could also be Basset Hound with, you know, his stature. His head and his paws are always, like, too big for his body. It's my favorite thing. After three years as faithful friends, she wants to know more. We bought the DNA My Dog kit for $69 online. Remove the sterile swab from the packaging. Becca collected Stoney's DNA. Good boy. All done. And we sent it off for analysis. I'm so excited to find out what he is. A few weeks later. Ready to find out what you are? Results were in. Oh, wow. Siberian Husky, Bulldog, Catahoula Leopard Dog. It's definitely shocking. I definitely would not have thought that he was going to be any of those. But is he really? <laughs> We did a second DNA test the same day we did the first one. Ready for one more round, mister? This one, called Wisdom Panel, cost us $80. The kit and instructions, all the same. As for those results... All done. Congratulations, Stony is a Border Collie, Alaskan Malamute, Chow Chow, Dalmatian, Kishond mix. So none of the same results. Two tests... It's too much information for him leaving Becca and Stoney with as many questions as answers. I figured they would be at least similar, but there's nothing that's the same about them. So this is what we call a DNA chip. We consulted researcher Mike Wilson at the University of Texas. There's about 1.9 billion reads that we can make on a chip this size. UT's genomic sequencing facility doesn't specialize in dog DNA specifically, but the scientific process for reading the DNA is the same. They're using a test to look at very specific um, genetic codes. Wilson says the DNA each company uses to develop their test directly impacts the results. How many breeds are in their, their database? How many samples of each breed did they collect and test? And then um, how do they interpret the data? can all make a big difference in, in what you get. On their website, DNA My Dog says they test for 84 different breeds. The Wisdom Panel Kit tests for more than 250. Both companies tell us they stand by their results. Ready to go on a walk. While Becca doesn't have all of the answers she was looking for, Let's go. she doesn't regret doing the tests. Good boy. As for the next time someone stops her on a walk to ask what Stony is. We'll call him like Husky Chow Chow Border Collie. Mud. In Austin. My dog's an enigma. Melanie Tory. Wrapped in a puzzle. CBS Austin News.